Israeli special forces last week rescued two of the hostages kidnapped on October the 7th by Hamas. They were being held in southern Gaza in the city of Rafah. There was huge relief for the families of 60-year-old Fernando Simon Marmon and 70-year-old Louis Ha. But the military raid to free them reportedly left more than 70 people dead and dozens wounded. The BBC special correspondent Fergal Keane has been hearing the stories of civilians and medics caught up in a night of fear. His piece contains distressing details. They were rescued from here. The two Israeli hostages that were kidnapped by Hamas on the massacre of October 7th are now home. This is the story of the price paid by the civilians of Rafah on the night of February the 12th. The rescue began around 1.45 a.m. By the time the hostages were safe, more than 70 people were reported killed, a high number civilians. In this house, a doctor from Médecins Sans Frontières lay across her children to protect them. She's asked to remain anonymous. Voice messages to colleagues afterwards convey her horror. On our home, I found pieces of human flesh. We found a whole lower limb belong to a human that we don't know who he is. When I saw the pieces of the flesh on the floor, I cried. Some of the wounded were brought to an international field clinic. Bilateral amputation. Dr. Javed Ali from Pakistan has worked here for the last two months. It was very close to the hospital. The windows and the doors were rattling. It was extremely scary. All in all, we saw more than 20 patients. A lot of uh, women and children were trying to come and seek refuge in the hospital. It is in the stories of individual families that the impact of the raid is most painfully expressed. Nawara Al-Najjar is a mum of six and pregnant with a seventh child. She woke after being injured by an explosion. <laughs> Nawara remembers happy days with Abed al Rahman, 32 years old, when he was killed. Here, some of the couple's children in hospital on the night their dad died. 12-year-old Samaya, treated for minor physical wounds, but traumatized. And 13-year-old Malak, who lost her eye in the raid. Israel accuses Hamas of using civilians as human shields. In a statement to the BBC, the IDF said it was committed to mitigating civilian harm. Military lawyers advise so strikes complied with international law. Commanders analyse, take into account expected military advantage and the likely collateral harm to civilians. <laughs> the war goes on, civilians like Abed al-Rahman keep being killed. In the voice message of the MSF doctor, a sense of the despair felt here. This message means nothing to a lot of people and will change nothing. And to be honest, the one who died is the one who's lucky. The one who lived to suffer again and again and again, who the one has been cursed and abandoned by all people.
but the memory of their father will endure for all of their lives. Fergal Keane, BBC News, Jerusalem.